Welcome to the lesson on factoring and solving quadratics. The problems on this sheet are a mix. Some of them, like number four, number four, just factor it, okay? Um, I will give you a hint. Number four is the difference of two perfect squares. I will also tell you do not reverse the order of the terms, okay? So I'll give you a little hint here. Do not reverse the order of the terms, okay? So that's that. When it says solution set, or what's the solution? Solve for, that means you're gonna come out with values for x, okay? Uh, number three, if you look at this, x squared minus 64, it's x plus eight, x minus eight, you get x plus eight equals zero, x minus 8 equals 0, so x equals negative 8, x equals 8, okay? On number 1, be careful with that one. That one, the roots are 4 and negative 5, so I'm telling you on number 1, start with x equals 4 and x equals ne negative 5 and work backwards, okay? You want to work backwards to, to get the quadratic equation that fits, okay? You gotta work backwards on that one. Um, quadratics have to be equal to zero, so you gotta move the 18 over, all right? Uh, so this is a lot, there's a lot of review problems on here, different kinds of factoring, um, and all of those, so work on those, all right? This is my hint of the day, hints of the day, I've given you a few hints, okay? Hint number one, don't reverse the order of the terms, Number two, when it says solve for a solution set, you're gonna come out with x equals, okay? Uh, problem like number one, you're starting out with the answers, x equals four, x equals negative five. You're gonna take those and work backwards, go up to develop the quadratic equation that fit those answers, okay? So, this has uh, been the lesson on factoring and solving quadratic equations. It's pretty much a review lesson, some challenging problems, but challenging is good. And this lesson was brought directly to you from my dining room.